guys, I'm back today with another video and this one is going to be brought to you by the company Asteria Hair and I'm gonna be showing you their curly headband wig and this is straight out of the package. The curls look really nice already. Now the length on this one is 20 inches and the density is 180%. All this unit doesn't have an adjustable elastic band in the back. It does offer two combs and these are like those comb clips where you can pop them into your hair. So you get two combs in the back and then you get three in the front and then you also of course get the headband that's attached to the unit with your Velcro in the back for extra security. I'm just putting on my wig cap and then I'm also going to put on my wig grip on top for extra security because I do have a smaller head and most of the time my half wigs will slip and slide back but when I have this on it don't move okay it don't move now if I am in a big hurry I do not worry about my wig cap I just need to make sure my wig grip is in place now I did go ahead and wash this unit off of camera using my Dove Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. And then I used my Olive Oil Foam to set those curls. And I just wanted to show you guys how those clips kind of work. I am going to plan on using them. And I just ended up putting them into the cap that I have on. That way I didn't attach it to my actual braids. I'm not a big fan of using combs at all, but I wanted to see how comfortable these felt and they felt really comfortable. I did not use the ones in the back though. So it's totally up to you if you want to do that. I'm just going to be using my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum just to run my fingers throughout the hair to fluff it up a little bit. You guys seen when I first took it out the package, it looked really thick and full, but because I clumped and defined everything together, it was looking a little bit on the thinner side, but I promise y'all this hair is not thin at all. I mean, look at that. You see how that is. It is not thin at all. And of course, the more you fluff, the bigger the hair is going to get. I think that this length is perfect, especially for curly hair. However, if this is a little bit too long for you, they do start it at 12 inches. And if you want some longer hair, then you can go up to 30 inches. So they included these scarves and also these headbands in the pack. You guys always see me have like the brown leopard on. Of course, that's my favorite headband to rock. But they had this one that had a little bit more cream in it. So I'm going to be trying this one out and as you've seen i pushed the headband part back so that a little bit of my hair in the front would show and i think it looks just a little bit more natural and the color came off really cute from the headband and it covered up everything i needed it to cover up of course if you don't want any of the headband showing you can kind of fold it in half and then i am going to switch into like the gray leopard one So when it comes to the scarves, I am not, I repeat, I am not the queen of tying them. But I will say, I wanted to show you this style because this is what I do when I need to run out the house. When I need to go and get my lashes refilled, I promise y'all this is exactly how I wear it. I put a scarf on top and then I just kind of wear it like that. You can always include some earrings if you wanted to just jazz it up a little bit. And of course, you could do multiple styles with your headband wigs. You could throw it up into a quick ponytail. I'm just gonna do like a quick, easy, simple, messy ponytail. I'm not gonna worry about it being perfect. And I'm gonna add some bobby pins into play so that it really doesn't move. As you guys can see, everything lays fat front flat <laughs> at the top. And I didn't have to worry about any bulging. Now in the back, it could have been a little bit more perfect. However, I am gonna tie this scarf. I just wanted to see exactly what it would look like. And I'm just gonna tuck that in the front so that those tails don't show as much. But you can definitely play around with your headband styles and get it exactly to where you need it to be. Of course, this is going to be a great style for the summertime because you don't have to worry about no lace. And who doesn't love that? Guys, make sure you stay tuned after this to hear my final thoughts when it comes to this curly headband wig. I'm styling this wig, and the last style I came up with was just this cute, messy updo. You guys know I am not the master of putting my units into high ponytails. I still struggle a little bit, but I think I did a good job. I will say that those hair clips inside of the cap definitely help to keep this unit stay in place. Most times when I am wearing a headband wig and I want to put it into a high ponytail, it ends up kind of slipping and sliding because I do have a smaller head. Touch those clips into my wig cap 
and it actually works out pretty well because it's not moving i didn't use the ones in the back area but i just used the ones in the top and i actually like this cap construction a lot the curls on this unit are really pretty however when i start to put it up into the high ponytail and just kind of mess around with it i noticed it started to get frizzy real quick and then also i started to notice a little bit of tangling in the nape area so i will say that if you are going to just pull it back down you are gonna have to definitely refresh and add a little bit more product. That way it can just kind of mold and pop back together. I noticed like a very minimal amount of shedding, which is good. The washing process, I didn't have any issues either. And then the styling process was pretty easy. I just put a little bit of my foam wrap in. The density on this states that it is 180%. I do feel like it is a nice density. Now, when I first put it on, you guys seen the curls were clumped together. So it didn't look as full, but as soon as I started to run my fingers through it, you can see how full it is going to be. And I also like the length on this because I feel like it's not doing too much. But even with that density, I don't feel like it's heavy. It's very lightweight. And of course, if it just gets too hot, you could put this into a low ponytail. Other than that, guys, I really don't have much to say about this. You guys know that headband wigs are definitely beginner friendly. This is gonna be the go-to for a lot of people in the summertime because y'all know the heat and the lace, it just don't mix and it don't get along. And next thing you know, when you're driving, you're gonna find your wig on your passenger seat riding with you. And I've done that a few times, snatched off my wigs. But with these hairband wigs, it's just really comfortable. I see that my hair is braided back and I couldn't really pull out my edges because it's all slicked back together. But I was able to just pull out not pull out, but just push the cap back a little bit to show mine, to make it look a little bit more realistic and it still looks good. So if you don't wanna show your edges, you definitely do not have to. Guys, let me know what you think about this curly headband wig if you are feeling it. I am gonna make sure to leave all the details down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel once again, turn those notifications on, share and like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.